Hello YouTube, this is Fusilier 352 with a book review today called German Military Travel Papers of the Second World War. The author is Matt De Palma, who himself is a reenactor. He also uh, runs the website repropaperwork.com. I'll post a link to that in the uh, description. And this book uh, is about $60, and you can get it on Amazon. I'll post a link for that as well. Uh, now, I happen to have met this author at a reenactment since he himself is a reenactor, and he was kind enough to uh, autograph the book for me. He reenacts quite a bit in Florida, so if you attend any events, you can look for him and perhaps uh, get your book copied or get your copy signed. Now, it's a well laid out book and it uh, appeals to two people, at least, that I can think of. One is the serious collector of German papers of World War II, and one other group would be the serious reenactor. If you do German reenacting, you're going to want to improve your impression with pocket litter. And this book is a perfect source of what the German soldier would have carried on him for various travel purposes. It's full of illustrations of authentic paperwork. Here is a Kriegsor Laubschein, which a German soldier would have needed uh, to be on leave or to travel to the front. Uh, here is a picture of the author's uncle who served in World War II in the American military, and he briefly explains why his uncle had great admiration for the German uh, soldiers. Uh, it's a well thought out and well illustrated book. Here's a example of the uh, sizing of the papers that were used. It also goes into detail about the uh, stock, the uh, thickness of paper that was used for each particular uh, uh, travel paper. It's illustrated with uh, currency and it's illustrated with examples of the various official stamps that would have been needed for paperwork. It was very important that uh, each soldier or each person traveling within the right territory had the correct paperwork to make sure that uh, there was no spies amongst them which is why the Germans were stickler for paperwork. Everything had to be stamped and signed. It has plenty of illustrations, full-size illustrations. These are, these are authentic documents that have been copied and added to the book. So if you're a serious collector, this will appeal to you to help uh, verify any documents you have as authentic. It's illustration after illustration, an explanation of each one. Later the, later the book uh, will go into issues of what was collected as souvenirs by the German soldier on leave, including, including holiday photographs, which if you're a reenactor, you certainly want to include in your wallet. Either you're, if you're lucky enough to get authentic photographs or you can reproduce your own. This book will give you an idea of what the German soldier was taking when he was on leave for photographs, for memories. And there are travel books for the occupying soldier, 
with a soldier on leave in occupied territory. More photographs. Postcards also are illustrated in the book. Here's an illustration of something that was common at the time. Soldiers would dress their wives or girlfriends in their uniforms and snap their pictures for their wallets. Also, there's a section on uh, the soldiers' pay and ration cards. And there's it with illustrations of the currency used in the in the occupied territories. Which is also good to have in your wallet as pocket litter. Here's examples of, ra of ration cards. And finally, under the appendices, he gives uh, conversion charts for paper sizing used in Europe and their equivalent here in the U.S., as well as a glossary of terms that are used in the uh, illustrations. So I highly recommend this book if you're a collector or a serious reenactor. It's about $60, and I'll post a link on Amazon. And if you're lucky, you can meet the author at a reenactment and have him autograph your book. If you like this uh, video, give me a thumbs up and uh, leave comments. Thank you.